Hey folks, it's Ben here and I am at the port of Milwaukee today where it is cold and blowing wind and cloudy. So it's not a very good sol day for solar, but it's a great day for wind energy. And why I'm here today is because they're doing a groundbreaking for a new wind turbine tower that's going to be right here at the port of Milwaukee. In fact, that wind tower is going to produce more than enough electricity for the building right behind me. So we're going to have um, a little press conference with the mayor, and then we're going to break some ground to start building a wind tower. Well, good morning, everyone. I'm uh, Mayor Tom Barrett. I'm joined by Matt Howard and Eric Schomberger from our Office of uh, Environmental Sustainability. Um, and the first thing I want to say is, I think we picked the right location for the wind turbine. Uh, <laughs> if anybody wonders whether there's, there is any wind, uh, the fact that we are inside is a clear demonstration that, that there is wind here on the lakefront. And I'm very excited this morning um, to see so many people here as we write an, another chapter in the wonderful history of Bayview and the lakefront. Um, and there are so many people in the crowd here who have been part of this um, for so long in terms of sustainability in our community and how we can make this a greener city. Um, I'm very, very proud to be a, a mayor of a city that embraces uh, sustainability as a, as a core concept. And what we're doing here today is we're celebrating the groundbreaking, if you will, um, of the wind turbine, uh, which I think is a, a, a wonderful chapter and a wonderful demonstration of this city's commitment to sustainability. Um, I want to begin by thanking Alderman Tony Zielinski, who was not here this morning, but um, he has been really the go-between between the Office of Environmental Sustainability and the neighbors here in Bayview in trying to make this a project um, that didn't scare the people who live in Bayview, quite honestly. Um, and helped us uh, teach people that this is something that we should all embrace as we look for clean energy, as we look for sustainability, and as we try to make this a more inviting city. I also want to thank the Board of Harbor Commissioners who worked patiently with us through this long and somewhat complex process as it <clears throat> unfolded, and their due diligence ensures successful and sustainable port operations. So I see Chris Martinzek is here. I don't know if there are any Eric Final is here as well. Um, I see others who are here. Craig uh, is here as well. Uh, but I want to thank them very, very much for, for their their help. And in particular, Eric and Larry Sullivan at the port, who frankly didn't run uh, from the meeting the first time the idea of a wind turbine was pitched to them. Uh, we also have to be mindful of our, our major sponsor, and in many ways our major sponsor is the, is the U.S. Department of Energy, and we owe them a, a debt of gratitude since the wind turbine is substantially funded through an energy grant to the City of Milwaukee through the American Recovery and Reinvestment Act. Additionally, financial grants from We Energies and Focus on Energy made this project feasible. I'd like to thank them for their generous contributions to this effort as well. And last but certainly not least, I want to thank all of you here today who in some way worked with us to make construction of this turbine a reality. What are we dedicating here today? Aside from the steel and machinery to be installed, I believe this project is a smart, cost-effective demonstration of the city's commitment to clean energy. This is one more tool in our energy efficiency and tax dollar savings toolbox. As of 2010, our energy projects across the city of Milwaukee departments have shaved nearly a million dollars off the city's natural gas and electric bills. And this turbine also reflects the Port of Milwaukee's strategic plan to be a transportation hub for the renewable energy supply chain. And that's important. If we can be part of that distribution chain for sustainable energy, for renewable energy throughout the Midwest that is important and that brings dollars to this community as well. So let's talk a little bit about the wind turbine. The wind turbine is a small commercial scale wind turbine which will, be, which will power all the Port Administration Building's energy needs. Due to the generosity of the three grantors I mentioned, the city will not incur any debt financing for this project which will essentially be paid for on day one of operation. Let me repeat that. The city of Milwaukee will not incur any debt financing for this project nor will we be <coughs> raising taxes for any property taxpayers in this city to make this project a reality. This is what partnerships are about. This is what working with other levels of government is about. This is what working with um, the uh, utility company is all about. This allows us to have this be a real plus for the taxpayers of this city. 
The turbine is rated at 100 kilowatts. The turbine will be 120 feet tall and to the tip of the blade, 154 feet compared to the condo across the street at 275 feet. <clears throat> Conservative estimates place energy production at well over 100% of the building's annual needs. Estimated annual savings to the city, which include revenue from excess generated energy, 14,000 to 20,000, and that's at 2011 rates. Um, so you have a barometer of how that works. And let's not forget that this is an American-made product. Um, a Vermont-based company, Northern Power, uh, made this, this wind turbine. The machine, the blades, and components will be placed up atop a made in Wisconsin tower from kaukana based Bassett Mechanical. Northern Power has also developed a robust supply chain of Wisconsin-based firms in addition <coughs> to Bassett, which include Renko Machine, R&M Machine, Traceomatic, Kendrich, Ken, Kenrich Industrial, GS Hydraulics, Strowig Industries, Weld All, Inter Anderson <coughs> Labs, and Thermtech. So let's recognize American ingenuity and Wisconsin prowess to be showcased right here on the shores of Lake Michigan in a city that was built on manufacturing. So again, it's a proud day for us. We're glad, we're glad you're all here. And I'd like Matt Howard to come up and say a few words, since he's the one that really navigated this ship. Uh, Matt, you say a few words. Well, thank you, Mayor. Uh, first of all, I, I want to thank the community, because this really was a community effort. It was the community's input in Bayview and in the city of Milwaukee, which really helped us refine this proposal. And we hope it really works not only for city government, but for the neighbors as well. And we think it's a great addition to, to Bayview. So this was a team effort. And uh, I think we're going to go outside, have a team of people grab some shovels, dig some dirt in the windy weather. Um, and uh, thank you all for being here. Thank you very much. Hey, tell me what's special about this motorcycle and why you're at a wind turbine groundbreaking. This is an all-electric moped, and I'm here because I want to find out what's happening for charging stations and what's happening um, with, with, the, with the wind turbine and how we could get more of them made here in Milwaukee. Now, if this were a gasoline motorcycle, would you be able to power it from a wind turbine or a solar panel? No. But it's an electric motorcycle. So I can... You know, do it solar, wind turbine, you name it. Go Brewers! Dang, that's fast. <laughs> that thing's zippy.